We have looked at um, inline CSS. Uh, we've also looked at embedded, how to convert from uh, inline CSS to embedded CSS. To embedded CSS. Now, the third um, type of how HTML can access CSS is through external CSS. So what we're going to do is, um, if you've got an, an HTML file embedded like this, if we run that, let's just run that to see if it's all working correctly. Yep, there's something that we've done in previous tutorials. What we're going to do is convert this HTML document now into external CSS. Now to do that, what we need to do is firstly open up a new file. Okay, and now we're going to save this file as styles.css. So styles.css. Make sure this time you call it .css. If previously you've been saving the file as a style, uh, sorry, as a .html, this time you're going to save the file as .css. Click on save. Now what we're going to do is everything within the style. So we don't need the style tag. Everything within that style tag. So img image, all of these properties that we've actually created, we're now going to cut them from here. So all that we're left is with HTML tags and our content. And we're going to paste that into our style tag. Sorry, our style sheet. CSS.style sheet. Note, okay, your styles will appear. Press save. If you'll notice, um, some of these tags appear in blue, where others appear in red. The reason for this is uh, the red ones are the custom styles that you created in, uh, in your actual HTML file. Okay, so we're going to save this now. We don't need... The styles part okay could delete that now because we've out now put our styles into the css style now if we run this okay it's all over the place the image has now resizes the text are different sizes however they are all in black the background has not uh, it's not the same anymore okay the reason why this has happened is because we haven't linked that HT, that um, CSS file to this HTML document. So what we're going to do, just underneath the title and above, before closing the head, we're going to link that sheet. So we're going to do link rel, okay, uh, and we call it style sheet. Okay, so what that does is create starts a link and tells the HTML document the relationship of that link is a style sheet. Then we're going to give the location or the reference, the hyper reference for that um, sheet. So the reference is, we called it styles.css. And then the type of sheet that it is. So type equals text slash CSS. Okay, so let's run that. Let me run that for you again. Okay, so link, link a link the relationship of that link is, is that the file or the link or the sheet is a style sheet the reference for that style sheet is stars.css and the type of file is that is a text file with uh, with css in it okay we now save that if we run this okay now as appropriately as before that um, document is now working with the styles that you created so now you have two separate style sheets okay if we look in our folder we have a styles.css which looks like this, a notepad with like a cork um, screw or sorry, a cog wheel there. And then you have the web browser files which are the HTML. That's how you convert embedded CSS into external CSS. Now the benefits of this, you might think, okay, now it's made my work harder where I have to go through two different files to adjust my styles. Okay, that, uh, even though there may be a downside, however, the most um, main benefit of using external style sheets is you can apply this style sheet to every single page. So if you have five pages in your website, you can, by changing just one style, so let's just change I change the body from yellow to blue, it will change it on every page rather than you having to individually change the color on page one and go to open up the next page, change the color, next page, and so on. Okay, so that's known as an external style sheet.